So today we will not discuss that whether you should use child theme or not. I will just say it is like health insurance. Maybe you will never need it, but you will be relaxed to know that you have it. So first we will see how to set up a child theme on your WordPress website. And second thing we will see what possible things you can do with the child theme. You can see currently I am using Astra theme and this is my parent theme. And now we are going to install a child theme for Astra theme. So to do that, we are going to install a plugin. So hover on plugins and click add new and search here child theme. And we are going to use this first plugin, which is child theme configurator. Click on install now. Once it is installed, click activate. So plugin installed, you can find this plugin under tools in left sidebar. So hover on tools and click on child themes. This is a super simple plugin. They ask you to select the option, which is the only option, create a new child theme. And then they ask you to select a parent theme. By default, the activated theme, which will be the parent theme is already selected here. If you can see here, like I shown you before, I'm using Astra theme, which will be my parent theme. So we'll go back and then click on analyze. And after analyzing your theme, it will give you a message that everything seems nice with your theme and you can create a child theme for your parent theme. And then they will say name the new theme directory. You can change the name here, but I will suggest you to keep the name because you will know which one is your child theme and which one is the parent theme. So by default, it will be your parent theme dash child. And there's a note here. This is not the name of child theme. You can customize the name and description in step seven below. Okay, then you can leave the another option, select where to save new styles. So it will be primary style sheet, style.css. And then you have sixth option, select parent theme, style sheet handling. I'll suggest all of you to leave all the options by default. They work perfectly without any problems. So we're going to leave everything default. And then if you want to customize your child theme name, you can customize it from here. Just click to edit the child theme attributes. If you want, you can say child theme new or anything else. You can give website URL of your child theme. By default, they imported everything from my parent theme, which is Astra theme. Everything you can change. You can change the description also. Right now, it imported everything from the parent theme. So I think we should not waste time on this. And then this eighth option is super important. Copy menu, widgets and other customized settings from the parent theme to the child theme. Because if you will not check this option, when you install the child theme, your menus, widgets and other customized settings will be gone. So make sure you check this option. So check this option and click on create new child theme. You can see here child theme extra child new has been generated successfully. Preview a child theme before activating. So if you click here, preview a child theme, it will generate a preview and I can see all my menus are here and my website look exactly same how it was looking before. So if I go here on the themes page, if I refresh this page, you can see I have a new theme, which is extra child new. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to activate this theme. So click on activate. Okay. So now this is my child theme and this is the parent theme. Do not delete your parent theme. You need both the themes on your website. Child theme will not work without the parent theme. So make sure you always have these two themes on your website, the child one and the parent one. And one thing you can see all my themes, they need update. So always keep your website updated. If you want to know how to update your website without breaking it, I created a detailed video about that. Check out the description of the video once you finish watching this video. So my theme is updating. Let's I can go back and see my website if everything is fine after activating the child theme. OK, everything's fine. Menus are there. Widgets are there. Footer is there. So we successfully installed child theme and activated it. Now the second part, what you can do with your child theme. To understand this, I'm going to open both the themes, child theme and parent theme in theme editor so I can explain you better. So this is my child theme. Child theme has only two files, style.css, which is completely empty. And then we have functions.php. It has some of the basic functions to work this child theme with our parent theme. And if I look at the parent theme, you can see they have so many files here, which are super important for this theme. How the page is being created, how the menu is being created, everything written in code exists on your parent theme. So what happened now? For example, tomorrow, if I go to footer.php, and if I want to change something, for example, if I want to add new text or uh, any functionality I want to edit in my parent theme, I'll just add in the parent theme and I'll save it. And I'll save it here. If I go back to my website, I refresh the page. So you can see this is the content I added in my parent theme. But what happened when I update my parent theme? Because updates are super important. Everybody should have an updated website, your theme, your plugins your WordPress version, everything should be updated. 
So what happens when I will update my parent theme? This modification which I made in my parent theme, it will be gone. No matter which file I'm gonna make any change, they all will be gone. So in that case, what I will do, I'll go back to my child theme. I'll create a footer.php in my child theme and this change which I made here, I'll add in the child theme. And when I add this modification in my child theme, it will be shown same in footer like it was showing when I added in my parent theme. But when you make any change in your child theme, they will not be lost. So that's why child theme is super important. And one more important thing guys, if you're new here, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel because I create compact to the point tutorials without wasting any of your time and which improve your web skills and be part of the community. Okay, so I hope you like the video and if you want to make your website super fast, check out this video on your screen. And if you want to know more about WordPress dashboard, check out this another tutorial on your screen. Thank you so much. See you in another video.